Thank you, Sports Illustrated. You put up a post today saying, here are all the NBA 2K18 ratings that we know. Right into it, Kevin Durant, number 96, which means LeBron James will be the highest rated player in the game, I believe. Uh, I think it'll be higher than that. Kawhi Leonard, 95, Steph Curry, a 94, Giannis, 91. Alongside Giannis at 91 is Paul George and Carl Anthony Towns. As for the 90s, Kyrie Irving and John Wall. Oh, but Damian Lillard, man, no respect. Can't make an all-star game. Can't get the love of the love of the critics. Can't even get a 90. NBA 2K. 89 for Damian Lillard. Uh, as for the other 89s, Isaiah Thomas of the Boston Celtics and DeMar DeRozan of the Toronto Raptors. 88, Gordon Hayward and then Bradley Beal. 87, Devin Booker, Joel Embiid and Porzingis at 86. Uh, that's a fun, just take all the 86s and put them on a team. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, and we'll start shuffling through uh, the rest. I'm not going to read you all these names. What kind of clip would that be? Just here's Jason reading. It would almost be like, ah, who's the comedian? I was watching it. Bart, maybe you know of this. It's from, it's a Netflix documentary about the improv, the Hollywood improv and the New York improv. Uh, and there's a comedian uh, who was one of the old, old guard type of comedians who once got up on stage and did a bit and he got booed so bad and heckled so bad he, he ran off stage, he was really upset. I forget, it's not, uh, but basically, the host of the improv comes back up and he goes, that's so-and-so, he's one of the most famous comedians ever. How could you do it to him? You've broken him. You got to get him back out here. You got to cheer him back out here. And he cheers him back out there and he goes, and he does the exact same bit he did 10 minutes before that got him booed off stage. I'm drawing a blank on the name. Maybe it's David Brenner. Maybe. Maybe it's David Brenner. Maybe. I'm most likely wrong, but that's the only person I can think of. Uh, but Bar, you're always right. Uh, as for as for some of the other uh, important names to note, Josh Jackson, rookie for the Suns, was a 78. Brandon Ingram of the Lakers, a 76. I find it offensive that somebody who's never played in the NBA uh, is a 78, and Brandon Ingram is coming back for his uh, for another season and looked great in summer league. Is a 76. I find the offensive of Jason Tatum, who's never played in the NBA, is a 77. And Brandon Ingram is a 76. I find it offensive that Spencer Dinwiddle is a 73 over. Yeah, that's about right. Bryce Johnson of the Clippers is a 71. Don't sleep on Bryce Johnson just because he was injured pretty much all last season. UNC player. Uh, unique skill set, uh, doesn't really have the best offensive skill set, but I do think like he could become maybe Harrison Barnes-esque. Both did go, look at the thing, here's the thing, both went to UNC, so that's the big thing. He's bigger than Harrison Barnes, he's not, as, he's not, gonna be, he's not as quick and obviously he plays more in the he plays more of a four than he plays the wing. But I mean, you never know nowadays with these guys, man. They're like 6'10. 6'10 used to be you're a power forward, you sit in the paint, you do the dirty work, you're Charles Oakley, you fight everybody. Now, like 7'4, and they're like, I think we should try him out at point guard, sir. 5'9, <laughs> I think we should match him up against the 7'4 point guard. It would it's perfect. He can dribble on his head. It'll be great. <laughs> uh, NBA 2K, I don't know when the actual release date is, but I also want to show you the trailer that was released today. Some free advertising for uh, uh, for NBA 2K, a game that I love so much that I am so very bad at. On Friday, NBA 2K announced, posted this tweet announcing all time teams for each organization and 16 new classic teams for the upcoming game. Love the classic teams. In case you're unaware of the teams that are already included here, list of the squads that were in NBA 2K17 and will return in 18. A lot of these names that you know. The 92 Dream Team, awesome. The 92-93 Bulls, the 94-95 Knicks, to name a few. Uh, of course, the AI 76ers. They should be on every classic team. They should be in every game. If you're playing MLB The Show, you should be able to play as the 01 76ers. It should be an option. Play at shortstop, he'd be amazing. The 2016 Australian Olympic team? Okay, I'm fine with that. It's totally fine, totally fine. Uh, so they want to predict the team. So they go, I can't believe this is a thing. Here's predicting the team. It's the 2015-16 Golden State Warriors. 
Bart, it's tw we're not even through 2017 yet. <laughs> Stop. I, the 13-14 Spurs. All right, let me go back to the other classy teams because there's some that should be. Yes, the 2010-2011 Dallas Mavericks with Dirk. Dirk at his prime. I agree. Uh, the 08-09 Los Angeles Lakers, the Pau Gasol, Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant, Pau Gasol Lakers. Uh, the 0607 Golden State Warriors, absolutely the Baron Davis Warriors that said could beat this, this Warriors team right now, 110%. The 0405 Spurs with some Timmy, I agree. Uh, the 0102 Kings, I think that's another great option. The Chris Webber, Mike Bibby, and if you haven't seen Mike Bibby, Mike Bibby was playing out of his mind in the big three on Sunday. Uh, it's great to see him back and playing well. The 98-99 New York Knickerbockers, the Allen Houston, the John Starks, the Patrick Ewing, the Troll. Actually, was Oakley on the 19? No, Marcus Camby was, though, and Latrell Sprewell. After, after he choked his coach in Minnesota. <laughs> Don't forget. We never forget. Those are some good classic teams. Uh, so, yeah, I agree. The takeaway from this clip for the NBA 2K ratings is they're all out. There's a trailer. We're getting closer to the game being released. The class teams have been discussed. And the 2000-2001 uh, Philadelphia 76ers should be in MLB The Show.